If you're into your manual lenses, your Samyang stuff, then check this one out. It might just save you from the Fujifilm autofocus offerings. We're gonna take a look at the Samyang 50mm f1.2 for Fujifilm. So let's just get on with it. Right, so let's take a look inside here, see what we've got. We've got a bit of an instruction manual, which I'm afraid I don't read. We've got a nice little drawstring bag there. Decent. And that's it, the lens itself. Nice, decent little snap cap there. Hood. It's all plastics. It's a decent weight, 399 grams. Solid build quality, high quality plastics, I'd say there. Nice, decent metal mount there. It's got that Samyang look, which I think is decent. Fits well, balances nicely, goes with the weight as you'd expect. Of course, I've got a bit of a hand grip on there, but still, this thing is decent even without the hand grip. The full frame 35 mil equivalent is 75 mil, so not quite the perfect portrait focal length with this 50 mil one two, but still extremely usable as far as focal length goes. It's a 62 mil filter thread. Close focus, it is decent at 0 0.28. That's very, very handy. Bear in mind, it's not weather resistant. Nice clicks on the aperture there, 1.2 to f16. I mean, with this lens, I'm always gonna be playing down at 1.2. In fact, for the samples, I only shot at 1.2. I mean, you know, if you've got a 1.2, you gotta shoot at 1.2. The manual focus ring, it's quite a solid thing. It's smooth, but it's got some resistance in it. As always, I throw my buddies into focus peaking and then that really helps me with the highlights. In my case, I use a white highlights and then that helps me to focus. Or if I really want to, I'll throw it to, for example, if I'm doing the closest focusing and then I'll just move slightly back and forwards. If I'm having a bit of a bad day with manual focusing, I'll throw it into a continuous low, for example, and fire off a few so that that small micro fraction of a difference, I get it bang on where I want. And that's the thing if you're playing at 1.2, you've got no margin for error. What I found this thing was very sharp, wide open. It was decent across the range. Of course, as I stopped down, it got better, but a 1.2 lens, you're not gonna be stopping down that often, you know, cause you wanna get that nice smooth bokeh. And I felt this lens produced that. It still had a bit of an earthy feel to it. Still had that Sam Yang, you know, that 12 mil F2 sort of feel to it, but kind of magical. Could be cool for some real good video stuff. If, you know, as a video user, you're happy with the clicks. When it comes to the out of focus, I think it's decent. I do, I think there's a bit of vignetting going on with these when you shoot wide open. I didn't see any real distortion with this thing or chromatic aberration per se. Contrast was very nice. The colors were faithful. Again, as I say, I feel like there's some kind of earthy vibe going on and that might just sound a bit too convoluted, a bit too overly poetical, but do like the IQ out of these things, even wide open. Let's take a look at some samples and see it's just some random stuff. And you'll see it goes in combination with the other two Samyang reviews that I'm doing at this time, the 35 mil and the 21 mil. So you can just compare perhaps images across the range, you know, similar set. In fact, the main test subject is the same guy. So, you know, just to give you some idea, not sure there's a huge difference between this and the 35 mil other than the focal length but check out the 35mm video and see what you think about that. So yeah, let's check out some straight out of the camera samples from this 50mm f1.2.
probably said it all really, but hopefully you got some kind of idea from the samples, more or less, that this is a decent lens. I mean, the build quality, as we said, is nice, it's solid, it fits well on the body, it works well. The focus ring could be a bit looser for my tastes, but it's easy to use, it's nice. Now, would I get it over 50F2 from Fujifilm, 56 1.2? I keep saying it's not fair to compare. But if I wanted a nice set of Samyang manual lenses, you know, if I really wanted to do that real raw photography stuff, or if I got super into video and I just wasn't interested in autofocus stuff and I liked the earthy, creamy bucket that this gives, absolutely, why not? This is another winner from Samyang. Don't just think about the 12mm F2, take a look at these as well. This 50mm 1.2, sweet little number check out the link below and get your own because you can't have this one leave a comment below subscribe for more we got a whole bunch of stuff coming up this year so stay tuned right i'm off stuff to do you know what i mean can't just be playing with these lenses all day long <laughs> or can i